Hi, I'm Cynthia Schiller. Please like and subscribe. So the cops were at the school today. Uh, I teach elementary, <laughs> but uh, the cops are there. And let's talk about this mental illness. What is going on in the United States? Because the United States uh, seems to have a really high mental health issue going on and there's something going on with it. Um, one thing I came across um, that I think is something to kind of uh, relate to this is a lot of times when we deal with um, the personality disorders, a lot of them are kind of trying to play God where they feel that they're in control of things. Um, and they need that. So when that's not working, they feel that they can put, um, their needs onto other people or take from other people to fulfill what they need. And one thing that I found is interesting, and we're not going to get all religious, I'm just going to say one statement on it, is a lot of the other countries, whatever their God is, they do have a God uh, that they follow. In America, um, uh, there's a lot of issues going on, but we're not quite as religious as some of the other countries. So that's something that kind of interesting but we'll get off the uh, religious aspect in this video but mental health that includes everything from psychological social well-being emotional health and it affects how we feel the way we act the way we even think so um it allows us to determine how we handle stress how we relate to other people and in turn to make healthy choices and americans uh there's a lot of us out there that don't make the right decisions and i talk about that butterfly effect how it affects everything um one little thing can change how somebody feels how they react to the other person that it, it just snowballs out of control so i can see that in uh, the classrooms when one kid acts out um it changes the whole classroom management and it can be from one kid um you remove that kid and the classroom management is perfect um not always but that's the thing like with the narcissist uh in your life um it's up to you if you keep them in your your life but i know as a teacher um you know if you could just remove a certain child sometimes everything would be peaceful everything would fall into place um you'd be on time you'd get your projects done uh your job would be completed you'd have a better peace about yourself but that one um uh, toxic trait uh, person can disrupt lives and then those kids are going to go home and that's going to affect the parents uh, sleep patterns which it just snowballs out of control so uh, mental health uh, it is important at every stage it does affect children um, it's real important from childhood to ad uh, adolescence and also adulthood so uh, we have a lot of different stressors at different times in our lives childhood is really important for the development of the way that uh, personalities are developed the way things are handled and poor mental health and mental illness are not the same okay but they are use these terms interchangeably sometimes so somebody can have poor mental health and not be diagnosable with a mental illness just like a person diagnosed with a mental illness can experience different periods of uh, well-being socially mentally physically uh, it's like a pendulum sometimes they can be good sometimes they can be bad and that's why with the narcissist too it, it gets confusing we're like whoa they're being sweet they're they're talkative attentive um, but mental health is very important uh, for overall health um, so mental and physical health are equally important uh, aspects of our overall health so depression uh, for example can increase the risk of many different types of physical type of health problems, uh, whether it's diabetes, stroke, heart disease, and chronic conditions can increase the risk of mental illness. So uh, there's stress, depression, um, but is our mental health able to change over time? Um, it is important that we remember someone's mental health is able to change over time but it is dependent on different factors so there are demands throughout our lives that are placed on each of us and sometimes that 
demand or that stress can exceed the resources that we have from within us uh, or around us. Also, our coping abilities, how we can handle things, uh, what our stress limit is. So mental health uh, can be impacted when we're under too much stress. So if we're working long hours or a lot of us are caring for our aging parents, um, sometimes the work demands, uh, child care, trying to get everything to juggle uh, with the pandemic, uh, trying to do the new math. <laughs> Did you guys have fun with the new math? It's crazy. Um, yeah comment below did you have to do the new math it's mind-blowing it's way different um and uh because all these stressors uh also the e economics of today um a lot of financial stressors and it can it lead to poorer mental health so um how are these common mental illnesses how common are they um there's more than 50 percent of Americans will be diagnosed with a mental illness or disorder at some point in their lifetime. Now, some uh, mental illnesses um, or disorders can get better with time. Some, you kind of get stuck. Like schizophrenics, they're stuck. They cannot cross back over. Once they cross over that line um, and become schizophrenic, they can't cross back. It can be handled with lithium, other medications possibly. But one in five Americans will experience a mental illness in a given year. Um, one in 25 live with a serious mental illness, whether it's schizophrenia, uh, could be major depression, uh, bipolar, so narcissism is part of that cluster B and that deals with personality disorders um, and, you know, uh, major depression, you know, uh, we got to think about the CPTSD that, that we possibly could have gotten complex post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, you know, there's no single cause for mental illness. A lot of different factors can lead up to and contribute to the risk of developing a mental illness. Uh, now, in my um, teaching professional development, we talked about um, early adverse life experiences. And uh, it can be one happening, it can be several happenings or happenings over time. Sorry, I <laughs> just, uh, but there's a history of abuse, whether it's sexual, uh, sometimes even just witnessing a violent crime. Uh, there was one child that witnessed a murder, a double murder uh, on the way to school. And um, he was traumatized from witnessing that. And people react to certain things. Um, that can be devastating. So uh, whether you're getting the sleep that you need, feeling secure in your own space, um, it, it gets you out of whack. Uh, and that's a major thing to deal with, especially as a child to see a double homicide. So, um, chronic medical conditions are those that are ongoing, such as cancer, diabetes, uh, that, that can happen at any age. And, um, there are biological factors, also chemical imbalances within the brain, and uh, those chemical imbalances, sometimes there's a damage between the neurons getting past those neurotransmitters to where the brain's not communicating the right way. Uh, a lot of times, alcohol, substance abuse, drug abuse, whether it's um, illegal or uh, misuse of prescribed medications, a lot of people, especially after the, after and during the pandemic, had a lot of feelings of loneliness and isolation, and that can be a cause of mental illness. Because remember, major depression can fill in, uh, fall into these um, areas. So, also within the United States, uh, we're a lot worse in nine health areas um, with the birth outcomes that are adverse. Uh, for, for decades, the U S had the highest infant mortality rate of high income countries. And, uh, they had poor, uh, rankings on how the birth, uh, 
with the baby being delivered, there was a lot of low birth weight. You got to remember too, with the smoking and, and drugs and uh, some of the things that Americans uh, do can lead to low birth weight. Um, and that can cause a stress when you're worried about your child. Um, how are they going to turn out? You know, uh, how are you going to plan for it? Is the baby going to live? Is it not going to live? Do you tell people? Um, so American children are less likely to live to the age of five than children in other high income countries. So that's really, really sad. Um, one in five, um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, American children on average, I'm sorry, compared to the other high income, uh, also injury and homicides. Um, I know Canada, Canada just had, um, uh, knife slashing, uh, incident where I, I want to say 12, I could be way off on that number, but it was a high, a, a good amount number of people that, uh, were, were injured, but we have guns in the United States and, the in Canada, um, it's my understanding that only the police are supposed to have it or people who are officially handed one. Um, but you know, homicides can still happen, but guns make it a lot easier. You can do it from a distance. It's a one and done. If you're a good shot, um, it, it's sad how many, uh, shootings that we have. Um, I just had, a, you know, I don't know why the police were at the school today. Um, I've had where, uh, this was in Florida, one student brought a gun, the other brought bullets. Luckily they caught the kids on the bus. Um, but school shootings, I worked at a college in Tennessee. Uh, the sixth day I was working there, there was a murder, uh, in the parking lot, 20, 30 minutes after I left. So, uh, we also have a lot of death from vehicle crashes. Some are also non-transportation related injuries, the violence that occurs, uh, at high rates in the U S there's a lot of stress in, in the U S we'll get more into it in probably a d double different video. I don't want to keep you guys too long on this one, but since the 1950s, uh, within the United States, young adults have died at a higher rate from traffic accidents and also from homicide than the counterparts in different countries of the high income countries. And there's got to be something to it. Uh, we're more reckless, road rage, uh, possibly under the influence, uh, texting, uh, feeling um, or doing TikToks. I see a lot of TikToks, uh, things like that, um, even through YouTube where people are filming while, while they're driving. Uh, not a smart thing to do. Um, I have a couple videos where I'm in a car, I think three, two or three, but I'm not driving. I'm just in the car. Uh, in America, we have a lot of adolescent pregnancies and sexually transmitted infections that can cause stress. Um, also, you got to remember syphilis can affect your brain. Um, I don't know how, what's going on with syphilis in the U.S. at this time. I don't think it's really high, but um, HIV and AIDS, uh, so the U.S. has the second highest prevalence of HIV among the 17 peer countries, highest incidence of AIDS. So that can cause stress in relationships, uh, also stress within that person. H how are they going to be with their health? How's, what's their life expectancy? There's also drug-related mortality. Uh, it's really sad how many people I've been acquaintances with um, over the last eight, 10 years, a lot of people I know have died from drug related mortality. Uh, and they're like 20, 30, maybe 40 years old. Um, that's way too young for people to be dying. So obesity and diabetes, um, you know, uh, some of the foods that we eat, uh, are, are we increasing the risk, uh, the weight that Americans tend to have? Um, so, we do have a high prevalence of obesity, uh, which I believe is 10% of when you're obese, it's 10% of your target weight added on morbidly obese is 20%. Uh, anorexia is 10% below your weight. Um, so, uh, heart disease in the U S, um, second highest, 
of, of the peer countries. Um, Americans reach age 50 with less cardiovascular health than the peers in uh, countries over in Europe. Um, they're more likely to develop and die from cardiovascular disease than the uh, people in the other high income countries. Uh, women are starting to have more um, cardiovascular, your heart related diseases. Uh, women are under more stress now because more women are working or single parent households. Um, and men can do that too. Uh, but men traditionally had higher, uh, you know, uh, they were the ones working under the stress of a boss, uh, stress of maintaining the house, paying the bills. Uh, it can be stressful. Um, chronic lung disease uh, associated with a higher mortality. So we have stress of losing people, stress of, uh, possibly getting cancers ourselves. Um, disability, uh, can play a part in mental illness, whether you're, um, the caregiver and starting to feel isolated, the person with the disease can feel isolated. And, um, the older U S adults have a higher prevalence of arthritis. I'm 52 and my hips are shot. Even my knees are going out at 52. Um, so uh, they have activity limitations more than United Kingdom, uh, European countries, and Japan. Um, I'm wondering, uh, I need to do this for you guys. I'll go gluten-free. How's that? See if that makes a difference. Um, because uh there's some swelling. Our, our diet uh, possibly could have something to do with it. We're high, and this is just my thinking, I'll do more research, is a certain foods uh, can cause more inflammation. Also higher salt content, um, extra weight. I, I'm not heavy. Um, I'm pretty small for my, I'm 6'1", but uh, I was heavier before I lost 78 pounds. But, um, you know, it, it can lead to frustrations, um, uh, feeling that you can't do things, getting older than you should at this age. You know, I should still be able to do everything. I'm totally healthy. I can move everything, but it just hurts. Uh, but anyways, the first half of what we talked about um, uh, shows this disproportion of mental illness. Um, you, the United States have about uh, because of the, um, let me word it this way, deaths that occur before age 50 are responsible for about two thirds of the difference in the life expectancy, uh, between the U S males and the U S, uh, counterparts of the high income. So we do have a disadvantage. Um, you know, it's, it seems like we're a really lucky country, but there's a lot of things that, um, cause of stress uh also knowing you know people carrying around guns that can cause stress uh knowing that there's high mental illness pair that with somebody carrying a gun you don't feel safe or pair it with somebody who's on drugs or alcohol where they become more un unpredictable also people with mental illnesses you know um there's psychopaths that don't care about anything there's narcissists who lie and 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 get us into a trap where we thought we were safe. Then you get scared on how to get out. Um, I had done this one time where uh, there was a biker who uh, I was at a bar and they had uh, the guy, the guy put um, his vest on me and I was like, and I was like, uh, how do I get this off? And then I'm like, Oh, I think that means they're claiming you as their girlfriend. And I had to do it really tactfully because I didn't want to be claimed, but you also don't know. Um, I didn't want to just take it off and throw it down because I was kind of worried. Like, you know, I didn't know that gang, if it's a safe gang or a corrupt gang, um, to where you're like, I got to handle it the right way because I don't know how they're going to react to me. Um, and a lot of bikers do a lot of good things. I just also have my degrees in criminal justice and I got the inside scoop on what some of them do behind the scenes. So there's a lot of good bikers. And just like people in the world, there's also a lot of bad people. Um, so I had to take it off tactfully. 
just like with our narcissists, when we leave them, we have to do it the right way because they could be upset and you don't know what the outcome's like. So if you need police to be uh, peacekeepers, definitely enlist them. They'll do it for free um, or, or have people with you just to protect yourself. So what are these reasons uh, that we have such a disadvantage? Um, we have problems with the healthcare system. Uh, a lot of people with their individual behaviors, ability to cope with things. Um, also with our uh, health uh, care, you know, if, if, if you have cancers or, or, or things like that to where you can't get the help you need or the high cost, I believe it's still high of insulin to where sometimes it's unaffordable and it's necessary. My dad had a leukemia medication that was $9,000 a month, $9,000 a month with insurance. That was his portion. Um, that's life-saving medication. Uh, it was a newer drug, um, a trial thing, but I, I believe that uh, either none of it was covered or only like 10% because it was a trial drug that saved his life. Um, definitely prolonged it because that came out, I believe, 2009. But uh, that's the other thing, too, with the monopoly, the patents that we get, that they can have a medication monopolized for 10 years. Um, you know, you think about it, you go to the dollar store, now it's $1.25, but you could get a bottle of aspirin um, for a dollar. You didn't get that many, but you go somewhere else and it's like $3 or uh, you think about it, it's like this can be made cheap. Why is it expensive other places? Um, certain medications, you know, is, is the cost justified? You know, is it some massive machine that has to like combine atoms or whatever they do? Is it a justifiable expense? I know the, um, scientists do need to get paid because they found some life-saving breakthrough. Um, but is it really justified? I had told you too, that I had a friend whose father was a doctor and uh, he just found a cholesterol medication that caused weight loss. So he just changed what the patent was for. He changed the patent on the same exact thing to be a weight loss drug instead of the cholesterol drug. Um, so does he really deserve high for 10 years uh, overcharging? Um, when all he did was just go, oh yeah, I, I read the contraindications and yeah, I saw a couple of my patients lose weight. Like he was smart, but is that justifiable for 10 years of a monopoly? So mental health, it's kind of crazy out of control in America. A lot of different factors. Uh, I'll do a couple more videos today. Please like, and subscribe and tell me what your thoughts are on why the U S has such a high incidence. And uh, I'll see you in the next video with more statistics.